check out this clip from the latest pre-patch podcast. And we just also had Square. Like, Square comes out and says, hey, like, no more multi-platform. Like, we're going, or no more uh, exclusive. We're going multi-platform. Like, we're going to start bringing these things out, you know, to multiple places um, day and day, you know, day in, day out. And so wasn't there some sort of uproar about this? People were getting upset that they are yeah. going multi-platform. What was that? What was that about? Uh, this was fanboys being fanboys. Yeah, fanboys being fanboys. Somebody, like, somebody equated with, this like, come to on, so so somebody equate on Twitter equated this. Uh, this was it. Was it this? I think it was this. Right, the guy that equated this? it to slavery. Uh, Is that what the yeah was it was i, think this I, was I can't it, yeah. remember the context that, yeah they, so there was someone there was somebody on twitter that was absurd just a, a fucking and again i can't stress this enough if you're this much of a fanboy please take a step back and look at your life and try and reconsider some life decisions because square enix saying that we're no longer going to be strictly exclusive to ps5 should yeah. it, it should in, in never in any instance be equated to slavery <laughs> second Man. class citizens this is that is a ridiculous take and if if that is a serious take on your end you need to look at your life i, I don't even think that was satire yeah it's right it, here i found I've, your tweet i've seen it's, similar things with the xbox uh yeah it's going i mean it's on both sides I've man seen, i've seen the fanboys raging out on that too and the fact that it's happened like so close together it, watching them just like deteriorate in unison is honestly hilarious it's I mean, ridiculous it, it, man it, it, and, and, and what boggles my mind is that you are fanboying and supporting a multi-billion and trillion dollar company that gives two fucks about you they don't even know that you exist so why the fuck are you so adamant about defending these guys when they're doing things that are blatantly wrong? And again, I sit here and say this should be a happy moment and it is trounced and wrapped in a layer of shit because the very I fucking asked. line right here it says is that Final Fantasy 16 and Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth didn't work out to the expectations of what Square Enix said. You locked it behind a fucking exclusivity and then expected it to do gangbusters and it didn't. Release the shit on other consoles and other platforms and it will do better. I I think uh Bill's game, that foam game was in there too. If I'm not yeah, foam star Stars too. also mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll we'll see. This is it, it's great. I'm happy that Square Enix is finally going to bring final fantasy back to everybody again it's been far too long i i think the reason that they thought this was going to be okay was because final fantasy 15 sold so well and it still is like the number one selling final fantasy game um but every game that they've put out after has been subpar at best sales wise and it it's sony's wallet doesn't justify the end goal of them not being satisfied with that, what they're what they're putting out there that's also a problem too where it, and it sucks it, too because the products are generally good like yeah Final Fantasy, i mean 16 great yeah. rebirth i mean it's not as good as as um uh what was the other one not rebirth what was it, the late the, 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 the one before that remake remake Final Fantasy, so yeah, remake or whatever but like it this goes to a, a again a bigger 16. issue of of going like hey why not like you should not just assume that because you sold x amount of final fantasy 15 that you're just gonna automatically hit that number and go higher like you gotta go higher like somebody somewhere some number cruncher should be again slapped and been like hey man like you projected a fucking kpi that was way too high like that no and so now i gotta go to my boss and say hey we we didn't hit our nut because you fucking crunched the numbers wrong or you decided on a hunch that it was going to sell that like why i'm, why? I'm curious how they're factoring the stuff if they're going off of like total playstation 5s out there and then like expecting a per certain percentage of those uh ps5s out there to also purchase the game like that would be the only thing that makes sense but even then what percentage are they trying to aim for since not everybody that 
buys a PS5 is going to be into action RPGs. No, I, I, I'm yeah. telling you right now that what they're doing is they're going out and saying, hey, this is how much the game costs to make. This is how much the game we need to recoup back and not only recoup back, but this is the expectation that we're supposed to hit based on last year's projections. That is a common way that business happens. And in normal business, absolutely, right? If you look at, a, at anything else, right? Any other business in the world, fuck it. Like my kids, they mow, mow grass. We can go, hey, you're, you know, you mowed this amount of gra grass last year. You did really, really well. Your business should grow X fold. So you're going to be able to mow more lawns this year and, and whatever. And video games doesn't work like that. Shit changes. Things go up and down or whatever. And so they looked at it and said, hey, we sold this amount of many of Final Fantasy 15. We should be able to sell that many plus X amount for Final Fantasy 16. Instead of going in and saying, hey, we're going to look at how much this costs, how many consoles are out there and actually doing their fucking due diligence. They just assume that they're just going to, break it in um and it's and it's ridiculous that that that's absolutely asinine and again this comes this comes with it wrapped in in this this you know i don't know this bullshit of like it didn't do as well and then on top of that they come out with this i don't i don't think we have it in the article that pulls up but sony uh no we do uh hold yeah, on. we do so uh where is it at is it this one yes so then sony fires back and says oh well, we're just letting you know that you're going to get a lot more exclusives. Like, you're still going to get exclusives. Like, what? Why? Why? Why fan? Like, I understand that you have to give a reason for people to want to buy your console. I get that. Like, I, I, I understand, right? But why then, in turn, fan the flames of this fanboyism of like, oh, well, don't worry, you guys, you're going to get exclusives. You're, you're going to get more exclusives. Like, I, I, don't, I don't fucking get it. I, I, I don't because that's what we, we, that's what sony is built off of yeah. at this it's, point that's that's yeah. that's their that's their I, mo that's what they i also do. want to redact one statement that i made hitting um, it right back final fantasy 15 was the last multi-platform uh game that square had put out uh prior to them going and doing this now so i don't know if they were expecting the sales to stay comparable with final fantasy 15 um well with, and 15 15 released like right in the middle of the of the uh of the the covid thing right uh 15 was 20 like the tail so end it, it, it yeah. was well ahead okay so yeah. it was ahead I yeah, think remake, it didn't, uh, re remake launched in the middle of covid it didn't was, uh, launch okay. day and day though multi-plat right it it was it only launched i thought it was exclusive and then came to pc later no it was it's full exclusive because it's on uh it's on xbox as well day and day like day, day one let me double check but i do believe so okay but um let's see if I'm while, while he's while he's checking that like i mean yeah. xbox one playstation 4 windows and google stadia oh, um so oh, that was one release date november 29th for playstation and xbox and then the okay. windows launch was uh two years later yeah like okay well Good times i don't know i i <laughs> I just I think, is, again that's that's just that's just a Sony MO. I, I understand where they're coming from. That's how that's how they keep their it, it it doesn't make sense to me to be being the kind of guy that I'm I'm like I like I understand where you're coming from where it's like if you would just release it on multiple platforms, you would make that money. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like and it, and to put it into perspective, that game sold ten thousand copies. Uh remake after the PC launch has sold eight thousand. And rebirth is way, way down. I just don't know how they weigh, like how, how they're gonna sell more consoles for releasing this exclusive. That's you know, th Wait. there's already there's got to be a bigger community on all of these other platforms that's gonna outweigh those console sales to just game sales. It doesn't right? matter, but but they they're don't just appeasing the fanboys. It's it, it, but the fanboys already own PlayStation and all that shit. We cre again, this is where I will give the fuck and I can't believe I'm saying this. I will give them I will give these corporations the the out. We created these fucking monsters. All of the gamers back in the day that stood fast and said, yeah. "My box is better than your box and the fuck you because you wars. yeah, the console wars fucking yep. did this." And this is the fallout that we are now having to live with where you have these companies that so passionately have taken that banner and fly it back and forth and are still saying, hey, 
we you know we need to you need a reason why you Sin. need to own a playstation can you can you doctor strange this and, and find any reality <laughs> that we're not a part of this yeah right you know what the, and, i can tell you the 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 multiverse is where this all we there is no one you know where this all goes we're racing to zero like we're we're yeah. fucking plummeting to zero right now like this is this is the these these companies like they, I don't know, man. Like, if they don't get their heads out of their ass soon, it's 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 done. Like, I don't I don't know where because I don't even think indie devs will be able to survive. Because, like, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what the fuck happens to Steam. Like, God bless him. I you know I love Gabe Newell. That motherfucker's old. He ain't gonna survive forever. What happens to him when he's gone? Right? right? He's like, Steam is over. Steam is the number one plat is number one platform for indie games. You know, you just had Crow Country, you just had Animal Well. They're coming out with brave fucking reviews, right? But look at Bellatro. Look at you know Vampire Survivors. What happens when Game Newell's gone and whoever takes over there is he just gonna say fuck them? You know what I mean? Like I, I don't. I just it, it <laughs> it's scary, man. It's like, going down. I, so yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> like I hate to be doom and gloom this cast, but like none of this shit is good like right now like this is just and even the good stuff has a dark caveat to it like yeah. what we're showing here with the playstation uh right. playstation stuff right like, like like you have one good thing and then and then you know playstation comes back and just shoves it in the ground like right so am i yeah. am i supposed to be am i sp and you know what me and my brother just had a conversation about the NCAA thing being like, oh, well, I, I guess I got to go buy a console. Like, to, you know, if I want to play that game, fuck that. I'm not going to buy a fucking no. console. I'm not going to go buy and support that's, this. That's, that's like, just more fuel to the fire. Like, it, who? It, so that dude that compared the, the, the exclusivity to, to, to you know, the, one of the U.S. history's second, most fucking... Second, second class citizens. Second class Are you happy about this? Are you jumping up for joy because now you're going to get you're going to get yeah, your exclusives? So yeah. everybody else gets fucked, but is. you're happy. Congratulations, dude. Pat yourself on the back. You should fucking be ecstatic because you get what you want, but now the rest of us have to wait. I have to wait for Ghost of Tsushima. I'm supposed to wait, you know, and then again, you have Sony being out there like, "Hey, we're going to make, you know, this whole PSN bullshit locking stuff behind the the having to have an account was supposed to be because, "Oh, well we're, you know, maybe we're coming, you know, day and day with PC games." It doesn't matter anymore. Like well, ah, oh, man. Sorry, just just to go back on that, like so PlayStation's pissed. entire reason for doing that on 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 a on Hell Divers was supposedly because of security. If yeah, you know yeah, okay. PlayStation sure. and their security, it, no, that's yeah. not why. I'm sorry, yeah. no, that is that is not even close to being why. Like, Don't say it's, 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 it's to up PSN numbers for investors. Yeah, yeah. Call, exactly call it what it is. Semi good news is. This uh, PlayStation 5 exclusive Concord, don't know anything about it, but it's going to be coming out day one on PC. So they're only a little bit behind uh, on that. I'm just, and if I, I'm... Xbox does make good on uh, Xbox exclusives coming over to PlayStation, then they're going to be another step behind, but they're at least yeah. embracing the day one PC launch a little bit more. Which I'm, I'm just I'm curious. I'm curious. The, the PS I'm curious. <laughs> I'm I'm curious how much of that is to do with the fact that Concord was already a PC thing, though. I I don't know. I'm, I mean, I I agree with you 100. It's it's What's a it's Concord? a great thing that the, there that's the the new one that they got right. The, the new the live new IP service they bought. fucking game. Yeah, I don't know. You know about this already? I don't. I thought. This... Yeah, we've talked about it before in the past. Um, I don't. Know. I've, yeah. I've never heard about this. I'm, I oh, well, I mean, I think I've heard of it, but it's, is it the one that that the Bungie people they they bought or no Firewalk Studios? No. I don't know, man. It's a live service game and. Right now, live service is in the shitter. Thank you for checking out the patch notes. If you enjoyed this small selection from our podcast, come and join us every Thursday at 10.30 p.m. Eastern for the full, unfiltered pre-patch podcast. And check out our past shows on anchor.fm slash prepatchpodcast. podcast.